So I'm going to make a rug with Dollar Tree stuff for in front of my washer and dryer. So I am just taking two Dollar Tree rugs and duct tape that I found at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to bring these together. I'm hoping that I've got these lined up good enough. I'm going to glue the rugs together with hot glue. I tried this with washing the rugs and then sewing them together and it worked out pretty good for my deck but I don't want them soft like that and that's how they turn out when you wash them they turn out very soft I don't really want them soft so I'm just going to do that just to hold them together and then I'm going to flip this over I'm just going to bend this up and I'm going to run a bead of hot glue and bend it down and this way they'll be attached together. So I'm just going to run my bead of hot glue. I've got my letters because I am no good at doing stencils with the Cricut. So I just cut them out with cardstock and I trace them and then paint them. take my heat gun. Try not to burn the rug, but I want to get rid of two strings. I'm going to take, hopefully I didn't do these too big. They look like they're huge. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so maybe I won't put room on here since it's really not a room. Maybe I'll just put laundry on here. draw them and then paint them and I'm just I don't know if I'm in frame here so I'll start with the end so I'll do the end about here and this is what I'm going to do all the way around drawn out and I found the paint I want to use. Now I buy a lot of the Oops paints from Home Depot and Lowe's just to have them in my stash because you know you never know when you need them for $1.50, 50 cents, whatever they're there for it's worth it these little pints. But this paint I got from Heirloom, I believe Heirloom paints and they brag about how they're all-in-one paints and all you have to do is clean and paint. This was actually a sample um, I had gotten from them. See how well it works on, on this rug. I did shake up the bottle and what I do is I pounce when I'm painting on these so they get into, the paint gets into the fabric deeper into the fabric you may have to do two coats if you want it darker or you could also paint white over it and then do the color you want but I kind of want the the black that I did to show on the side so yes I'm not going over that I don't recommend watering your paints down either when doing this I want your paint to be pretty thick just because it's going to get a lot of wear and tear. Um, my deck one that I did was I think three rugs put together that I had sewn and I washed the rug first like I said and, and used my sewing machine to sew it together and it's held up very nicely. Um, I just painted on the um, design that I wanted on it. It sits in front of the sofa that I made for the deck out of pallet wood and it hasn't worn out. It's It's been there for, for a while now. Not that long but I thought the paint would start chipping off but obviously it, it hasn't so I'm kind of excited about that and 
so now I buy all these rugs <laughs> when I go to the Dollar Tree because I'm like, oh, I could put a rug there. I'm actually going to do one for my in front of my kitchen sink. back over this. Um, when it dries it will be hard. Paint will be hard. There's you know nothing you can do about that. It's definitely not going to be something soft to stand on except for the rug part that isn't painted. So but I figured in front of the washer machine I'm not standing there very long. So and the one I'm doing for the kitchen is going to I'm just going to paint in between these. Happy with the paint that I used. And if you notice, I cut the, I cut it down very small, but this will work in front of the dry, the washer and dryer because where my washer and dryer is, you come in the back door and it's kind of in an alcove right there. So this isn't too big for it. This is perfect size. I am going to take some of this out and I'm going to attach it to the back. I'm gonna figure out how to attach it to the back just so it doesn't slide around the floor. I have a cat. She has a tendency to need things. I'm also going to take some Minwax spray. I'm going to take some fast drying polyurethane clear satin and I'm just going to spray over the letters just to give it a little extra life um, with the paint. I Since it's not an entryway mat, I think it'll be okay, but I just want to be sure but the paint, like I said, the paint I use is Heirloom Traditions. This is actually a sample they sent me. Of course, I had to pay for it, but I would recommend Heirloom Traditions paints. I will leave a link down below where you can find them. And 